double your SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps or often referred to as EBT for the low income like this. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. I know in this video, I do want to share with you the details of how you can double your SNAP benefits on certain purchases up to a daily allocation, therefore making every $1 essentially worth $2 worth of purchases. This is pretty awesome because we do know SNAP benefits are great, but at the same time, they're not nearly as much as they really need to be for the beneficiaries who receive them. And this is a cool program that's out there. I want to share with you the details about this so you can really maximize your SNAP benefits each and every month and get as much as you possibly can out of every single dollar that you spend. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. Really fast before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, I really do appreciate your support. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. It's the big old button waiting for you down there. Make sure to hit that if you have not done so yet as I'm here for you right by your side every single day doing whatever I possibly can to keep you informed of everything going on and to maximize, like I said, your money, your benefits, checks that you're receiving, anything else like that and pointing out anything popping up right now you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. So again, thanks for being here. Really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below and also share this video with anybody that you know that is receiving SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps or EBT so they can also take advantage of this. All right, thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about the program that is out there and if you're receiving SNAP benefits or like I said, EBT, food stamps, whatever you refer to it as, it's all essentially the exact same thing. You are automatically eligible for this. Now, to be fair, this is not available in all states. However, it is available in over 25 states across the country and a lot of people can take advantage of this. There's 43 million SNAP beneficiaries across the country. A lot of people can take advantage of this and we're in the time of year right now where honestly, it's actually a pretty cool time to take advantage of this because you can go out to some of those roadside stands, farmers markets and things like this and take advantage of this program and really maximize your dollars out of SNAP, okay? All right, so let me explain exactly what this is. It is called Double Up Food Bucks. Have you ever heard of it? Well, if you haven't heard of it, let me explain really quickly. And even if you have heard of it, if you're not taking advantage of this, you probably want to take advantage of it. Like I said, for every $1 that you spend when you use this program, that $1 is effectively worth $2, okay? on certain purchases, not every single purchase. This is specifically focused on produce. So like fresh, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. Now, again, I know that we can't spend all of our SNAP benefits on that, but if you're spending even a portion of it on that, and again, if you can get twice as much produce for the same dollars spent, why not, right? It's pretty awesome. So like I said, even especially this time of year, a lot of cool stuff at farmer's markets this time of year. So anyway, let me explain the details about this, which by the way, if you want to check out the website and read more about this and see the list of states that are participating about this, I will give you that website. And I would highly recommend if you are not familiar with this, or even if you are, if you've not taken advantage of it yet, I would highly, highly recommend going to the website and doing some reading. It's not that complicated, the website. I've been over there a number of times. I've looked around on it. There's a lot of great information straight to the point and it explains exactly how to take advantage of this program. But here's what it comes down to. Like I said, if you're already receiving SNAP, you're pretty much already in on this. You do not need to apply. It is just an automatic thing. If you go to a participating uh, grocer, as in grocery store or farmer's market, if you're located in one of the states that this is available, you're already in, okay? You don't need to apply for this. This is not like a new program that you need to apply for, nothing like that. You just automatically get it if you are a SNAP beneficiary. Anyway, the uh, the website that I'm gonna give you to, uh, that, you, that I'm gonna direct you to, if you wanna check this out and read more about this, is doubleupamerica.org, okay? Doubleupamerica.org. You want me to spell that out? Get ready. I'm not that great at spelling. Actually, <laughs> we'll see if I can do it, right? D-O-U-B-L-E-U-P America, A-M-E-R-I-C-A dot O-R-G, okay? Doubleupamerica.org, okay? Check out the website. That is the website right there. You can get a lot of great information on it, but... Here's basically what it does. When you go to a participating grocer, if you are located in one of the states that has this available, essentially what they do is when you go to the register, again, this is my understanding, I would highly recommend mentioning this to the cashier before they start ringing up your stuff, just so that everybody's on the same page and they can understand this. But essentially, if you go there for every, like I said, for every $1 that you spend, you get essentially $2 worth of produce. 
However, there's a daily maximum, okay? It depends on the state you're located in. Depends on the state. Generally, it's between $10 and $20. However, there are some states out there that are $5 a day. This is a day, by the way, okay? Not like per month or anything like that. This is per day. So some of the states out there that have a $10 maximum, which is a lot of states, but there are some states out there that have a 15 or even $20 maximum per day. So essentially, if you're spending $10, you get $20 worth of produce. If you're spending $15, you get $30 worth of produce. If you get, if you spend $20, you get $40 worth of produce. That's pretty cool, right? That's like a lot of produce. So anyway, just want to take that, uh, t check that out if that is your case and if you want to take advantage of this, okay? So just remember, these are daily, okay? I know sometimes we look at this and think, really, $20 a month? That's not very much. No, that's a day. That's a day, okay? Now, here's another thing that I want to point out for you as well. I was doing some reading on this because I thought, how does this really work at farmer's markets and like these roadside stands and stuff like this? I I'm guessing those prob those places probably don't accept uh, SNAP benefits for the most part. I mean, sometimes they do, but a lot of times they probably don't. Here's what I was reading about this. A lot of times they would probably have some kind of like information booth or something like that. Now, again, remember, depending on the farmer's market or the food stand that you go to, it might be different across the country. Different states do different things. But I'm just saying, in general, this was what I was reading about it. So let's just say that you go to a farmer's market. There's probably some kind of information booth or something like that. It sounds like if you go to the information booth, if you have them swipe your uh, your SNAP benefit card, they will give you in exchange paper vouchers, okay? Paper vouchers. So let's just say it's a $10 maximum in your location. They swipe your EBT card. Basically, they charge or they they debit, say $10, but then they give you $20 worth of you know paper vouchers, essentially. Then when you walk around to the vendors, you just redeem your paper vouchers for or the produce, whatever you want, at your specific vendor. Does that kind of make sense? So again, it's going to be different probably each uh, individual farmer's market and roadside stand and stuff like this. But that's what I was reading about is how they do that. Because I thought, you know, a roadside stand, do they really have a little kiosk thing to, to accept a, a SNAP benefit card? Uh, probably not. Just being real. Maybe they do. I don't know. I'm just simply saying probably not. But, and even the same thing goes with these farmer's markets. A lot of times it's like a cash transaction, right? You walk up and you're like, hey, I want this little basket of berries or whatever, right? And they're like, sure, it's a $1.50 or whatever they say, right? So in this case, you'd be able to use your paper vouchers that you exchange kind of at the information booth. So check that out. And again, it's probably going to be different, but I just want to give you that information so that you don't arrive at like a farmer's market and say, hey, vendor, I want all this stuff. And they say, sorry, we don't accept snap here. And you're like, wait, I heard that I can, right? Well, it's probably the process like this, okay? So check that out. And again, just do a little bit of research on that. If you go to a farmer's market regularly, you know, just look at it. There's probably some kind of booth out there or somebody you can talk to uh, that can probably help you out with that. But take advantage of it, seriously. I mean, that's like 50% off, right? So it's you can look at it a couple different ways. Every dollar is worth 100% more. So you get, you know, $1 worth of produce, or I should say you spend $1 and you get $2 worth of produce, or you can basically say everything is basically 50% off. I like to look at it that way. Everything is 50% off. I love a good deal. And that to me is like awesome stuff, right? A 50% discount on everything when it comes to produce, not bad, right? Pretty cool. That's awesome. So... Anyway, like I said, make sure to check out the website if you have not done so yet. Uh, great website. Again, there's not a ton of information there, but it is very helpful. It gives a list of the states as well as all the other details you need to understand about this program. And again, you're already qualified. If you are in the state that is uh, that is eligible for this and you go to a participating double up grocer or food stand or whatever, farmer's market, stuff like that, you can automatically do this, okay? No application needed. You don't need to do that because here's the thing. Who wants to fill out another application? I don't, not sure about you, but I definitely do not want to do that. Wait around forever to get approved or denied or whatever. Not a fun process, right? So anyway, check it out again. Uh, the website is doubleupamerica.org, doubleupamerica.org. So there you go. Hope that one helps you. And again, Make sure to check out that website. Leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. If you want me to come back and elaborate on this further, I can certainly do that for you. But just remember as well, you can't spend all of your benefits any single day. You got to stay within that daily maximum, you know, five, 10, 15, $20 is generally what it is. I think there was maybe in one state on there that was 25, but I think that was only one state. Uh, but again, it's usually between 10 and $20 a day. 
but that's, you know, a decent amount of produce, realistically, especially if you get it at the right places and your money is worth double, essentially. Again, you can pick up some pretty cool stuff. So check it out if you want to. Not required. It's something out there that's available uh, to help out the low income and those people that have a SNAP benefit card. And um, hope that helps you. Otherwise, share this video with your friends, family, social media, so they can also take advantage of this program if they don't know about it already. Uh, this is not like a mainstream thing out there. This isn't like, you know, um, something that most people know about. Again, most people, a lot of people know about this, but it's not something that like everybody walks around and says, hey, have you taken advantage of that double up program? So anyway, hope this helps. Again, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends from your social media and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care, have a good one, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.